hello there welcome back to my channel this is la martina i believe you are doing so well i'm equally blessed and highly favored today we are going to make the perfect jollof rice recipe with the secret to a tastiest and crispy chicken ever so we start by seasoning our chicken with some garlic onion and ginger paste and some salt and some natural spices as well we want our chicken to taste as natural as it can so we are using natural spices for the seasoning and today i'm so happy to post this video because we got 1k yesterday and i'm so pleased by your support thank you so much so we are going ahead to prepare our stew base for our jollof so we add some chopped onions to the oil on fire we stir for a while then we go ahead to add our toro beef to it this beef will give it that unique taste a bit of jollof i had the papa try nothing uh-huh so we stir for a while and we go ahead to add our tomato paste to it we let it simmer for about three minutes after we stirred it up just like this we then go ahead to blend our fresh tomatoes some pepper onions ginger and garlic so we are going ahead to blend it And so we go ahead to add some water to ease blending. After blending, we then pour the blended tomatoes, ginger, garlic, onions, and pepper into the pot. We stir for a while and we let it simmer for about five minutes. All the ingredients are supposed to go in there. So we go ahead to add some curry powder to it. You can choose any seasoning of your choice, but I want curry powder and some tomato seasoning. Now let's go ahead to check on our chicken. So after marinating it for about 15 minutes, we then go ahead to crack one egg and add some pinch of salt to it, then some flour. We then fix for a while, then we dip the steamed chicken in this into your day. So you just after dipping it in this, we'll just put it in the air fryer to fry it. We then go back to our jollof base sauce, then we add our rice to it and some salt to taste as well. And our jollof rice is almost true. We leave it on fire for about 10 to 15 minutes we stir once then we leave it again for about five minutes then our jollof is ready but before that we are going to add our chicken stock to it uh -huh. just like this and to all my cherished viewers especially subscribers thank you so much for supporting me get 1k please if you are watching me right now and you are yet to subscribe kindly do so like share comment and click on the notification bell to enable you to be part of this great family kindly subscribe to watch me grow thank you so much subscribers for 1k after adding the chicken stock to it we then go ahead to add some water and some tuna flakes to it this is optional but if you add it it makes it taste very nice then some salt right after 20 minutes our jollof rice is ready and we are going to serve it with our chicken and trust me with this recipe this jollof rice recipe hmm, if i tell you the wonders it has done for me you will wonder so if you have a loved one you love so much kindly go ahead and prepare this recipe for them or him or her and trust me 
the bond between you will last forever i'm a living testimony for this recipe so right after dishing our rice into our plate we then go ahead to add our air fried chicken to it so here it comes just like this look how perfect it looks just dip your chicken in egg solution with some salt and flour and you fry it you can call it fry it with oil and you would have the perfect consistency so this is what we have our jollof rice is ready you are all invited come around come along let's eat together we all know la martina is here for your total well-being and so always remember to love your family work super hard and live your passion let's enjoy our meal together Hmm, yummy yummy <laughs> my kids my husband my brother my sister they all love this meal so trust me do it for your family do it for your loved ones and the bond between you will last forever as i said this side tastes so good because of the egg base thank you for watching and until we meet again on our next video it's bye do enjoy your weekend